Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and today is another episode of Who's That Indie? If indeed you can call it an indie. Today's indie is Dirty Bomb from the creators of Brink. Which was a first person shooter with wall running and all sorts like that. This version, I'm just going to quickly get straight into it. To show you this, you get a roster of characters you can pick. Little timers here show they are free for use. The ones without that you have unlocked. To get a new character permanently unlocked, it's 50,000 in-game credits or 779 or your regional equivalent. Quickly show in. You can buy cases which give you more cards. Each card shows a rarity and level of character. The higher the card level, the more powerful your character is. You can boost. So you can load out. You can upgrade your characters. Nice to meet you. So I want to go upgrade this guy. Let's go like this. Let's go for. I want a bronze rarity. I would need several cards below. I don't have any of that. On average, I shoot all of you and about nine times. to go up to iron, I'd need any one of my bloody lead characters. Let's autofill. Do that. There we go. Oh, yes. And that's how you make other cards. You can also buy them in packs. I'll quickly buy a pack to show you. Let's buy a case. As you can see, there's six different rarities. Cobalt being the rarest. Let's try and get a good one. You don't control this, it does it itself. It is just going to taunt me by showing you here's one you could have had. Huh. Lead, the oh, basic. Yes. Oh well. And let's go straight into the game. Quick join. Let's find a match. Go. So there's only two modes, objective and stopwatch. Objective is complete the objectives against the clock and stopwatches complete them better than your opponent. Each game you're allowed to take three of your mercs in. The heavier mercs can't do wall jumping. The lighter mercs apparently can. You can sprint, you can kill things, you can revive your allies. Yeah. You can shoot downed players and make them permanently dead. Hopefully that... Let's see, what, what characters have I got? Fragger, Kira and Skyhammer. Let's get rid of Fragger. Let's Come get on, let's in go. Sawbones. There we go. And lock in. Okay, party starts here. So, let's get this party started soon. Come on, let's go. 20 seconds Come to on, wait. So yeah, as I was saying, um, you're only allowed to take in three mercs any one time. You pick them at the beginning just here from your roster available. And in you go. So this one's quite simple, destroy the extractor fans, destroy the pump controls. I'll probably be showing you one, maybe two matches, it depends on how quickly this one goes. If you have a very good team, the matches can end pretty damn quickly. And I have been doing amazingly well, but that was before I tried to record, so we shall see how crap I am now. I know for a fact I'm going to suck. Let's see which character I got to start with. Oh yeah, you have, you have crazy starting First, weapons. You have to destroy the extractor fan controls. Then head down the escalators to the lower levels. Ooh. And finally, destroy the pump controls to flood the archive. Okay, seems simple. We are the attackers. There are four, five versus five. Let's go. Destroy the objective. So, C4, now. Is, so I'm using a bronze character right now, which is three of six in the scheme, so there's three more levels above him. The higher levels also have better weapons, so it's a bit dickish here and there to be fair. Damn it! You can see where people killed you. My character is writhing on the ground in pain. Look at that poor little bugger. Come on, thank you. That guy has a medic um, equipment. You also get experience for sticking together because... There we go, brought him down. So yeah, if they're riding on the ground, you can resurrect them. You can also drop, um, some characters can drop abilities and weapons, like this character has a airstrike marker. Oh god. <coughs> Bless me. 
Okay, so yeah, I wasn't gonna survive that. So yeah, each and every each class is unique and varied. There are heavy weapons, snipers, marksmen. You can also double jump off things, so we can get it right. There we go, like that. It's a basic one of the mill shooter, to be fair. It's not exactly much which set it apart. I mean, let's really face it. There's a lot of shooters out there. The, the graphics are pretty nice. The movement system isn't amazing, to be fair. From the from the creators of um, Brick, I was expecting a much more run and jumpy style, but there is not as much parkour as there used to be. Ow, he stabbed me. What an arse. I will find you and I will kill you. How are we doing? I'm actually doing the worst. Of course I am. Why would I be doing good when I do good in every other game? We blew the objective. Come on, come on, get C4 on that objective. Oh yeah, shut up. So we'll see how well we do. It's not doing too well, to be fair. Okay, let's throw an airstrike marker up. Can we even airstrike? I think we're in the building. Oh, we can airstrike. Ow! What an arse. What an absolute arse. So, yeah. Quite a fun game, I might do some more videos on it. But like I say, the gun shoot gun fighting isn't amazing, there are other ones out there. The the parkour is almost non existent. It is just there, you can sort of like I say, go boing boing, but that's about it. So yeah. And the games are small, it's um eight V eight max, I think. I don't think you can go any higher than eight V eight. Let's see if I can blow someone's bloody head off. Also, you re uh, respawn in waves. Top left, you can see the wave respawner. So it's sometimes best to make sure you die at that point. There we go. Screw you. So where are we going? We're going downstairs. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Finish him off. You do not want the enemy to resurrect their guys in the middle of a battle. They're really close to you. Who cares? Just be an arsehole. Just be an arsehole and kill them. See? Okay, so you can actually... If you did the running thing, right... Oh, I can't get up there. I'm an ass. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, shotgun. That's my team. They literally didn't follow me. And then you get bombs over there. But teamwork is unfortunately the key. Yeah, I mean, they definitely stand to. Some of the guns really are slightly overpowered because it works on the whole. If you have a better character, you have a better weapon. Which, unfortunately, is the way of the game. You can, like I say, you can make your own cards. You just need to get loads of the cards below them. Which starts building up, as always, in any kind of collectible card game. Yeah. It's not too pay to winning. But it is still slightly pay to winning. Which is unfortunately the problem. Oh god. <laughs> okay, now we're into the next area. Oh, we win! That was simple. Good game. So, yeah, that was a basic game of Dirty Bomb. Mission accomplished. 10-8. Ooh, that's not good. So you get experience for helping each other, for supporting each other, for running out. Extra bonus stuff. Okay, so triple kill. So all I got. Uh, so let's see, is there time? Yeah, okay, I'll show you one more game and then talk about what I think it could be done with. Like, see, you see the graphics just there. The water actually physically stops halfway through. 
not major, just a bit annoying. Another slightly annoying thing I've noticed is when it changes screens, the recording occasionally stops. Like when I tried to join the match, the recording swap stopped completely, so I'm not even sure if that recorded properly. Alright, let's see. Play four matches. Objective modes, complete that. Earn 77. So yes, basic gameplay. It is fun though. Definitely very fun. Come on, let's go. I'm not sure against all the other shooters and arena shooters and deathmatch shooters, objective shooters, how long it will actually last with its current um, scale. Although those who like collecting, it may get them a bit more interested purely for the fact you can build your own bloody characters out of cards. It's just... There's so many games out there which are now shooters. Imagine people will be playing this for ages and then will lose interest in it until another major update. Unless they do something different. Which is the problem with most shooters. They're all similar but only slight gimmicks. And this one's gimmick is... I'm not sure. It might... So let my graphics load in. There you go. The graphics have just loaded in on my hand. Oh, the knife graphics have vanished. That was a bit weird. Oh yeah, I remember this map. It is very easy to spawn camp your enemies as well. Because the last time I played this, I was on the other team, and I was able to spawn camp the enemy with my entire team. And the only reason you stopped doing that was because it was completely unfair. So yeah, this is very spawn campy. So you need to get out of Thank you. So you need to get out of spawn very fast. Yeah. Tried, failed. So this character has an orbital laser for their main one. There we go. Laser. Oh yeah, laser. Oh. Resurrecting morons. Yeah. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Thank god I waited. Actually, I'm not even sure I should have waited. There's ammo station up here now. So we need to take that base over there. Ooh. There we go. Am I dead? Did they literally not resurrect me? I can't even see my body. Where did I die? Hey, they're helping me. Okay. I don't know what's happening, I'm literally just spawning and dying. Uh, I can't do anything! Why can't I move? That was... that was weird as hell! Oh yeah. Hit laser. <laughs> oh. They diffused our bloody C4. Well, that's annoying. Come on. So yeah, like I was saying before, I really interesting got killed by a weird bug going on. It's it's fun. It definitely would attract my attention for a few hours, but I'm not sure what it gives to you after that point. There's not much extra to it. I mean, there's so many shooters on the market. There really is. It's just one of those things. I mean, the whole resurrecting thing's a bit slightly ingenious. Yeah. But yeah. 
it's just one of those games which doesn't hold your attention for too much long. Like after this, I'm probably going to play it, like I said, for a few more hours, and I'm going to move on to the next game. I'd highly recommend it if you have a few hours, because it's definitely one of those games that's free to play. Yeah, it is free to play, so that's got that thing going for it. I mean, if I had to pay for this, I'd probably be very unhappy with myself. Yeah, we're actually doing well at that. Oh god. Oh. Oh dear. So yeah, not doing well. Not doing well at all. Hopefully you're getting an idea of what the game's actually about for my very inept playing though. Just wish I could recommend it. It's fun for occasional 20-30 minute play here and there. Or if you're really into this. Like the graphics are slightly cartoony. But yeah. I mean I'm, I'd probably enjoy uh, Team Fortress 2 more than this to be fair. Ouch! That was just painful. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, please, you know, definitely give it a whirl. The link will be in the description as always. But yeah. I have been the Fallen Shogun. I have been attempting to play uh, Dirty Bomb. I do enjoy it, just not the main, not the major game. Charles for now, people. Bye bye. Damn it, hell. Oh god. It was also made harder by popular demand. There we go, my little.